Ito ang nakakagula na balita, posibleng umabot sa labing lima o higit pa ang mahaharap sa bagong criminal charges na isasampa ng NBI at PNP kaugnay sa pagpatay sa broadcaster na si Percy Lapid na sinundan pa ng pagkamatay ng umanoy middleman sa krime na si John Billiamore. Ayon kay DOJ Secretary Remulya, kasama na sa mahaharap sa reklamong ito ang itinuturing nilang dalawang mastermind sa ibinalita naman ng GMA. News. Murder Raps Filed versus Bantag Others Over Percy Lapid Killing The Philippine National Police and the National Bureau of Investigation On Monday filed murder compliant against suspended Bureau of Corrections Bureau Chief Gerald Bantag and others in relation to the killing of broadcaster Percy Lapid A case has been filed with the prosecutors and from then we will proceed with the case proper and hopefully this issue will be laid to rest the way it should be Justice Secretary Jesus Crispin Rimulia said in a pre- conference. Lahat ang makasampahan na yan, ang nalaan just telling the NBI and the PN to work together, to get their arm together, to complete their narrative. Kasi everything seems complete already para mas maganda yung pag-apropasyon ng kaso. Dagdag pa niya, mas lumakas pa ang hawak nilang ebidensya ngayong kinumpirma na rin ng Anti-Money Laundering Council na may naidiposito ngang 550,000 pesos sa account ng self-confessed gunman na si Joel Escorial bilang kabayaran umano sa pagpatay kay Lapi. The principle that we adopted here in charging uh, the mastermind is the, is the totality of all the facts given to us by all the witnesses and all the circumstances attendant to the killing. So it's a totality test. It is not for us to point out a direct link, but the totality of all the acts points out to the participation of and responsibility of those charged. No subpoena was issued. That will come because the case was filed already. That will be with the fiscal because they have the rights to counsel and they may answer there. Hindi sila binigyan ng pagkakataon. Hindi naman kailangan eh, kasi pinag-aralan niya ng gusto, tinanong lahat ng testigo. And you know, this is an exceptional case. All of these, uh, none of these people would have talked if General Bantag remained as the head of the Bucor. The fear of General Bantag is just tremendous and unbelievable from the eyes of these PDLs. So that... Uh, It, we chose it, we, 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 uh, maybe that uh, we can say that we thought it best in, the, in conducting the investigation that we let General Bantag answer his charges formally with the fiscal's office. Um, well, I only have one answer to what you said. No? It's the totality of all the, of all the statements. I think that we have to stick to that because it is the truth. It is the totality of everything. Apart, sorry, sir. Medyo makulit na talaga You know, apart from the totality, yeah, we, we, we heard that, you know, yung statement. And I'm going to repeat it again. It's the totality. Just just that. Totality, yes. Uh, just yes, that. Yes, yes. Uh, no, no, no other physical evidence. Na. Just well, we, we will, we will uh, there are still things that we have to ask. Uh, we're 95% close, okay. but there's 5% that we want to find out okay. about this. Thank you so much. Next. And congratulations. Yes, Jairo. Hi, good morning, Jairo Bulledo from Rappler. I only have one question because natanong na po yung sa higher up. Um, General Bantag already said na hindi siya magpapakulong. Meron pa siyang non-verbatim po na word na parang magkamatayan na lang daw po ng gobyerno ito. Ano po yung mga measures na gagawin natin aside from the HTO para ma-ensure natin na magiging accountable si Director General Bantag for this crime, alleged crime? Thank you. We will furnish him documents that he can defend himself uh, with uh, so that he can be informed of all the charges against him and all the testimonies against him so he can answer intelligibly. We will give him due process. He will have the right to counsel as all people are entitled to the right to counsel. Besides that, all of these words are not within our grasp. Kami ho rito, law enforcement po ang iniisip namin. Hindi ho kami nag-iisip ng iba. Pinapatupad lang po namin ng batas. Wala ho kami ibang motibo rito. Kung ano pong mangyari na sa proseso, alam naman natin, may proseso po ito. May karapatan ng isa para sa kutin ang bintang sa kanya. Kung ano ang maging desisyon, 
kailangan ispapatupad po namin ito. At we have Church Director General Gerald Kitalek Bantag, DSO Ricardo Soriano Zulueta as principals by inducement. PDL's Denver Batumbakal Mayores, Alvin Cornista Labra, Alvin Mikosa Galicia and Alfi Peña Redonda are likewise charged as principals by indispensable cooperation for the murder of Percy Lapid. Second, for murder of Cristito Villamor Palanya, alias June Villamor E. Globa, or Crisanto Villamor, nicknamed Edoy, we have charged Director General Gerald Ketalek Bantag and DSO Ricardo Soriano Zulueta as principals by inducement. PDL's Alvin Cornista Labra, Alvin Mikosa Galicia, Mario Hermones Alvarez, and Joseph Medel Jorfo are charged as principals by indirect cooperation, uh, indispensable cooperation, I'm sorry. PDL's Christian Dizon Rama, Ricky Lamigo Salgado, Rodi Pabustan de la Cruz, and Joel Alog Reyes are charged as principals by direct participation. It was found through the investigation that, Bureau, uh, that both Director General Gerald Bantag and G DSO Ricardo Zulueta were behind the killing of both Percy Lapid and June Villamor. The sworn statements of the PDL show a clear and direct line of communication from Director General and DSO Zulueta to Denver Mayores who communicate with Alvin Labra who then coordinated with uh, Alvin Galicia who then orchestrated and executed the killing of Percy Lapid through his gang members and his gang members' contacts on the outside, ultimately ending with gunman Joel Escorial and his group. With respect to June Villamor, the same sworn statements of the PDLs show a similar clear and direct line of communication from the, from the Director General and DSO Ricardo Zulueta to Denver Mayores who communicated with Alvin Labra and then coordinated the same with Alvin Galicia who then orchestrated and executed the killing of June Villamor through his gang members. This time, June Villamor was suffocated to death by a plastic bag and held by his own gang members. This unique circumstance shows that the order came from a high official of the Bucor. One usually seeks refuge and protection from his own gang members. The fact that they killed one of their own means and indicates that there were instructions from the top and the gang simply had no choice but to execute. Director General Bantag had a clear motive to effect the murders. For Percy Lapid, it was continued expose by the latter of the issues against the former on his show, Lapid Fire. This is evident from the video sent by DSO Zulueta to Denver Mayores, which was later forwarded to both Alvin Labra and Aldrin Galicia. For June Villamor, it was the attempt to cover up the murder of Percy Lapid. We have initial yet credible intelligence reports that indicate that the money trails described by the PDLs match the bank activity of those charged. The self-confessed gunman stated that the reward for the murder of Percy Lapid was 550,000 pesos. According to the credible intelligence reports, within the period of September 15, 2022 and October 7, 2022, there were indeed cash deposits totaling the amount of 550,000 pesos. In sum, all of the statements given by the PDLs and gunman Joel Escorial, coupled with evidence, corroborate as to the material facts needed to prove the two counts of murder. All departments and agencies involved in this case extend their heartfelt condolences to the families of the victims in these two cases. No amount of cases filed will bring their loved ones back to this world. However, the unfortunate deaths of both Percy Lapid and John William Moore will not go in vain. The investigation has brought to light the institutionalization of a criminal organization within the government. This will be the cause of many reforms in government and the strengthening of current mechanisms to ensure that nothing of this nature will ever happen again. This concerted and coordinated effort of both the DOJ and the DILG is a war against impunity and the continuous and gross disregard of the rule of law. Thank you. Hold the partial order against they, will, they will be issued, uh, now they will be issued subpoenas at their last known addresses because we understand that the Solveta has been in hiding already. Uh, he skipped uh, town 
uh, four or five days ago. And the General Bantag, we expect to give it to him at, uh, at the Bucor and his last known address in Caloocan City. Possible hold departure order, sir. Hold Pardon? departure. Hold departure order, Bob. HDO. Well, we will, it's, a, it's what you call a lookout order. If somebody wants to, to leave the country, we, it's, it's a lookout order that we issue. And uh, I think that's the way that we, the, the law is uh, enforced in our country. Next person. Thank you. Thank you. To the left. Uh, Cecil Morelia, sir, of the French News Agency. We portrayed uh, Mr. Bantag's group as a, a criminal organization. C could you tell us what other uh, crimes did they commit? And I'm particularly interested in whether they had any role in the killing of the PDLs who testified against former Senator De Lima. Well, uh, I, I will not go to the case of Senator De Lima here. Uh, with the criminal organization, I would say that the beer, the beer that was found, that was surrendered by the, by the people, the drugs, the computers, the telephones, um, the weapons uh, in, in, inside, uh, inside Belibid, uh, is a very, very strong indication of the presence of a criminal organization. Uh, with a centralized purchasing system, a centralized way of doing contraband selling and contraband work within a prison system. I think that that itself would tell you that there is a criminal organization lurking within. My fellow officer, um, how long has this criminal organization existed and how many people have been killed by this group? That's what we are accounting for now. In fact, uh, one of, the, one of the things that surprised the investigators in this case was the fact that when they went to Eastern Funeral Homes for the autopsy, the first autopsy conducted by the NBI, they were surprised to see more than 30 corpses inside the funeral home. This is now being studied by the police. And uh, we want to know how all of these people died, the cause of death, and the, 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 the circumstances surrounding their death. But the, the presence of the criminal organization, we cannot tell now. We will study it and we, maybe we can know uh, how long this has been going on. But definitely, there has been criminal activity going on inside the National Believed Prison. Next. At the back. Tanjang po ang NBI at PNP para ipatupan ang magiging desisyon po dito sa kaso. Next. Hi, sirs. Linawin lang po namin yung motibo sa pagpatay kay uh, Percy Latid. Kung an po yung, kung baga malinaw na motibo dun po sa pagbabanat uh, po niya. Ang unang po lang po na sinabi na namin. Yung nung po nasimula pa lang, yung inuunso lang, pinagala na yung Percy Latid sa mga And, sir, yung, uh, yung mga inmates po, yung sa mga dating kaso, I know natanong na kanina, pero not specific sa kaso naman ni Secretary Dilima, pero meron bang mga na, nabanggit, for example, na previous cases involving Bantag and Zulueta in connection with deaths dun sa iba pang mga prisoners doon? Um, yan po, ay susuriin din natin ulit. Kasi nga, marami akong tanong at malabas. Kasi marami akong nagsasalita ng mga Yes. Uh, yes, good morning. I'm Donna Pasibugan from Incomer. So, uh, talking about uh, due process, so the process... Uh, how does the presence of the DOJ, no less than the secretary, affect, how will it affect the uh, process now, uh, considering that it will still undergo preliminary investigation? Does this mean that this, is automat this will automatically be filed in court, charges filed in court? This will be evaluated by the first, I wouldn't find the but uh, probably more important than the fact that people 
points can be given us to the But the universe is job is to be set function and not to be shown. We don't want to say that the is a part of is like a judicial process, not to the secondary process. And that has to be done in this case. Wala itong, uh, or wala itong uh, ano, uh, deviation from the normal process where uh, the investigate. <laughs> As secretaries of the Secretary of Justice, we see that we have a matter of the hand, the machinery and the government for public interest. Okay, we'll be entertaining two more representatives of the media. First, yes, sir. Yes, Mike, please. Sir Benjamin Pultapov, sa Philippine News Agency. Sir, tackling ko na yung tanong. First question is, would you like to reply to the insinuations made by General Bantag that uh, efforts were made to uh, oust him as early as August this year. Uh, tapos, second question ko, sir, yung seemingly uh, contradicting uh, autopsy reports, will they both be included in the investigation or will one be excluded in the... Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir, yung conflict lang, sir. And without that reduction of the persons who know about how the other was uh and the I came in time that they did the first autopsy. The second autopsy was carried to the to give all the information available already because this was done a week after the NBI. So when uh, Dr. Fortune conducted her autopsy, she already knew about the time information. She would read the book about the affidavit of the persons who were there when the killing happened, the killing of the other. So there's no, there's no, there's no conflict. Uh, sir, yung first question ko ulit, yung uh, Mr. Bantag is claiming persecution. Tapos yung third question ko, sir, um, uh, yung biglang nag-ano. Sige, sir, yung first question na lang muna, nakalimutan. <laughs> Sir, sa disaris po si Boy Gonzales, paano natin mapipigil ang lumabas ng bansa si kung look out bulitin lamang kung wala tayong hold departure order? At isa pa po, bakit kung kumakatang ng bansa sa mga bulitin pa ng bansa? Magkakanong po ba ng panel para mapabilis ang investigasyon ng DOJ? Ah, depende po yan sa mga Okay. So, uh, again, I'm pleading to Solveta to just surrender right now. Just like the gunman who surrendered, napag-isipan niya na in danger ang buhay niya. And I'm asking each and everyone who's watching right now, could give any information to the whereabouts of Solveta. Napaka-importante niya po rito. Again, uh, I would like to tell everyone na sa pamunuan po ng ating Pangulo, no, magtatrabaho po kami. Hindi ho biro ito, yung mga dinimanda rito, pero we have to look at the evidence objectively. Kaya ito ho, ang Department of Justice, ang DILG, ang PNP, ang NBI, from now on, parati ho kami magsasama to always resolve on cases. Magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat.
Well, uh, I was asked to to be here today to address everybody about this investigation. I think that uh, the resolution of this case with regards to the investigation came at a very good pace because of the cooperation of the police and the NBI. Uh, their professionalism was, uh, was something to behold. I think that we can put our faith back to, to our to our law enforcement people and that uh, I'd like to ask uh, Sulweta and DG Bantag to surrender and to face the charges. If they are innocent, the law will uphold them. If they're not, if they're guilty, then they will have to face the consequence. Eh, ganun lang ho talaga ang, ano eh, ang, ang sitwasyon ngayon eh. Uh, mahirap talaga to fall from grace, especially from a very high perch. Um, may sinasabi nga ng iba, yung impunity nito kakaiba. Kasi, nagbubukas pa lang ang mga facts na, na, na nangyari sa loob ng Muntinlupa, sa Bilibid. Ngayon, marami nagtatanong sa amin tungkol, hindi lang nga sa alak, tsaka sa drugs na nasa loob. Marami pa tinatanong sa amin, ano ba yung nangyari sa mga drug lord na namatay? Labing walong drug lord ang namatay within a span of 75 days. Uh, all of covid and cremated right after. Marami ho talaga mga krimen pa na ating kung kailangan tingnan or allegations of crimes. And the criminal activity inside has to stop. Uh, prior to this, no? prior to the, to the case of Percy Lapid, the DOJ was already working on reforms of our correction system. Kasi nga, it is the biggest mega prison in the world. It is not easy to manage. Pangalawa, Ang, ang talagang trend ngayon sa penology ay talagang i-cut down na ang sizes ng mga prisons or mga, mga piitan, mga kulungan to a maximum size of 2,000 to 2,500 people. Ito po na-propose natin ito. Kaya nga, ito po meron na hong ginagawa ang DOJ dito matagal na. Kasi ito nga ang produkto ng... Ito talaga ang problema na na-identify na nung araw pa. So, we have to move on from this. Uh, we have to learn our lessons from this. Kinakailangan matutunan natin na hindi na dapat ginagawa ito o nangyayari ito. We do not accept it as a matter of fact or a matter of course that it will happen inside Bilibid. We have to endeavor to change it. Marami na siling ginawa tungkol dito. Marami ng chismis, marami ng alingaw-ngaw tungkol sa nangyayari sa loob ng Bilibid. Ngayon, na sinasagot namin ng tanong, but marami pa rin tanong. Mas marami kayong tinatanong sa amin. Eh, things that you took as a matter of fact before, na ngayong hinarap namin sa inyo, para ang hirap tanggapin. Pero yun po yung katotohanan eh. Mahirap tanggapin ang katotohanan. Pero yun po ang totoo. Hindi, wala ho kami mapapala rito mag-invento ng uusigin. We will not invent, we will do not want to persecute anybody. Believe me, wala ho tayong gustong apihin dito. Nilalabas lang namin ang preba na ibinigay sa amin na mga tao na sasalita na may kaalaman sa mga pangyayari sa loob ng bilangguan. Tanggapin natin po na ganun ho talaga. Mahirap tanggapin ang katotohanan. And this is the truth. We have no motive here but to unmask the truth so that justice may be done. Maraming salamat po.